Hello and welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Not a really an episode, but the second part to episode three. So a little recapping what happened in episode one. The professor, perfe professor Fig left to go get the milk. Uh, nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, what he really did was going. He went to London to go. Explain someone of George's death. If you don't know who George is, it's just to let you remember. He's the guy who died in episode one of a dragon. Yeah, that guy, guys. That type of George. So, yeah. So, I'm gonna need a mate with Natty09 and Lord, Lord Hogsfield. So, yeah. And she's not in Hogwarts at all. She's actually sick somewhere else. Totally. So, um, yeah, pretty much. Uh, let's go. What is that? Uh, what is that circle thing? Hold on, y'all. Will this appear now? Uh, finally. It disappeared. Okay, let's go meet Natty over at the Lord Hogsfield. Oh, wait, isn't that the, uh, uh, the, the big guy? Uh, 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 big guy's house. Uh, I don't remember his name, honestly. I haven't watched Hogwarts in a while. And you die. No! You die now. Crap. I su My aim sucks. I feel like, uh, MVC. Dude, I feel like an MVC up in here. I feel like an MVC up in here. Bro, I feel like an MVC up in here. Be, I'll be feeling like an NPC up in here. Can't hit my shots right. Oh my word. Anywho. We're almost there. Oh. Here she is. It is good to see you, my friend. Hagrid's. I think his name is I Hagrid's. Hello, Hagrid. Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. Hagrid, yeah, I think. I was there. And I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our camp. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. I... What does that mean? I'm still learning. Pretty much. But I can see traces of it. And I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Serona stand up to Rookwood and Hollow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Hollow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili Land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. 
Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. I beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What's going on here? this way think I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen I've been busy with my research I do not have time to Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time Oi, speak of the devil Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you a student you can't be sick <laughs> enough out of you leave her alone Stupefy. <laughs> This is a fast way to get yourself killed! You know that! Akio! And send me! I'll watch the light go out of your eyes! We can hold them all! just happened. I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I believe... I can see why you're so interested. Well then, uh, no one is yet, I suspect. Mallow sweet. Versatile. I had just arrived. You see? The Mallow sweet. Precise! I brought a trunk chock full of mallow sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow suite on the swirl, and we'll see what happens. My word! Did you 
see that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Incendium. The flames make the pyre sink. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade, should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Sir Nicholas, our house ghost, is looking for you. You can find him near the Great Hall. Leviosa! Accio! Incendio! It's me, Gareth. If you have a moment. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. 
best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. Better be, bro. I wonder if you might uh, come with me for a moment. You wanted to see me, sir? Yes, Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington, at your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found and its missing pages. I may be able to help. Follow me, if you will. It's not too far. Wait, how do you know about the book? And that it's missing pages? Word gets around amongst the ghosts. You were spotted with Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. What? Funny part, I feel like everyone's deaf because one, they're not hearing any of this. That's the funniest part. <laughs> or is it just we're talking into for each other's minds? This may be a leap, but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. I'd be happy to take you to him, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along the way. Uh, sure, I guess. I remember all. Hmm. A small favor in exchange for getting those pages. Yes, it's, it's nothing really. I'd be grateful if you could simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. I mean, like... I bet. I beg your pardon. Roast beef. Rotten roast beef. That is correct. Rotten roast beef. If one floats through it just right, one can almost taste it. Mm. Ugh. I suppose I can do that. But why me? It's simple, my young friend. I cannot carry it. Let's go, Sir Nicholas, the third. He's not. He's just Sir Nicholas, not Sir Nicholas the third. Now, if you'd be so kind as to collect the roast beef, I shall explain everything else in June. Well, I have a question for y'all. If you had to be in Hogwarts, which which house would you be in? Would you be in Gryffindor, Slytherin, F Hufflepuff, or Ravenclaw? Honestly, for me, I'm okay with Slytherin or Hufflepuff. Slytherin or Gryffindor. Ah, here we are. Tickle the pear and head on in. Did you say tickle the pear? Yes, in the painting. I'll wait right here. Uh, do try not to get in the way of the house. I'm already imagining sweet aroma of rotten roast beef. Oh, okay. I can get... So perhaps that's what... Door is not to a door student now. never will the understand kitchen. students. What could they want? Delicious food found themselves a bit peckish, likely. You Certainly know makes Rookie's job easier. <laughs> Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. It smells glorious in here. Be healthy a little bit. Hmm. Here's some beef, but it's not rotten. I'd best keep looking. It, I look like Dragon Claws, honestly. Do you guys agree with me or not? This one really looks kind of like Dragon Claws. It's just... Oh, well, please. Oh, yeah, that looks hella better. Okay. There's already some stuff in here. Okay. I honestly love the goblins in Harry Potter. 
They were always interested me. Especially Dobby. It was funny what he did smell. with that cake. I must be getting close. <gasps> oh, a student? What a treat! Hello. Hello. What can Finky get for you? A pumpkin pasty? Perhaps some Welsh rabbit? Sounds lovely, but what I really need is this rotten roast beef. Ah, Nick sent you, didn't he? Please help yourself. Think he supposes Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. <laughs> it was nice to meet you. Thank you for the beef. Happy to help and to meet you as well. Yes, I mean, Please thinking. give Nick Finky's regards. It's nice to meet you, Finky. You're a nice woman. Nice goblin. I'm not sure if you're a woman or not. Because I know some people will claim women when they're not. Like Tough Nut from. Where all the food go? Oh, it's three stars over. Ew. Nom nom. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Oh. Nice. Well, oh, cheese. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Hello. You're back. No trouble, I take it. Not at all. Finky sends her regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind elf, Finky. Now let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore. Oh, and I forgot your elf is not the goblin. Those pages. It was like this a similar thing. Sir Nicholas, what's going on? I forgot the elf always looks. Sir Patrick organizes the headless hunt. A group Sharp. of headless ghosts who gather for no. various uh, headless activities. Headless activities? Uh, yes, oh. uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan <laughs> is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. Uh, shall we? Very well, Very well. Interesting. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this headless hunt. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it. Hmm, not done. Do stay behind me. It's Sir Patrick we want. Oi, Nesta, look who's here. What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Amzad. Do let us pass. We've brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably come to try to beg his way in again. Says <laughs> <laughs> the guy with the, 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 the guy who oh, has no body. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. Uh, don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information from young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be. What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. Then this party would be complete. How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Eh, uh, we brought you a gift. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want? As if I need to ask. Um, it, it's Richard Jackdaw. Uh, where can we find him? Uh, may we speak to him? Jackdaw, eh? Why, here he is now. What a shame. Without his head. I bet you've always wondered what that's like, eh, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, you jazz. <sighs> it's bound to be around here somewhere. Probably being used in a game. 
If you find it, I give you my permission to speak with him, my young mortal. <laughs> it's the least I can do for you for bringing this putrescent gift home. Uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you, if I may. Tut, tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you? Our entry requirements are quite clear. <laughs> but, sir, I... Uh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Now, please, follow me and I shall help you find your way out. Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine. Oh. A fine night for revelry. Oh. I mean, I mean, Hogsmeade. I thought I was in <coughs> Hogwarts, not Hogsmeade. A wonderful night for games. Nothing like the feeling of a breeze through my hair. Or so I recall. Who will be next to play our little game of hide and seek amongst the pumpkins? Hello again. Can you help me? Ah, Sir Nicholas's young friend. Has he abandoned you? Not at all. I need to speak to Richard Jackdaw. Sir Patrick said his head. What, what, what's going somewhere. on with the guy that's Indeed behind me? Indeed, it might be. Hmm. It is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal, but if you do wish to speak with him, oh, why not? You can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Not just once, but five times. Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those are the rules. What say you? If that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. Marvelous! Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember, the game's not over until you find him five times. I could do that too if I had a wand. The end of party. Young Jackdaw's no match. You stop it already! Looks like we need to find another pumpkin to hide it, eh, Jackdaw? Whatever you say, Dumfrey. This is not my finest moment. Is it over yet? Are we still going? Said I should blast the way to my heart. And then I won't be the one to clean up this mess. Oh, what fun! A student is playing! So you found us! This ain't over yet! Do that too if I had a wand. The end of bottom. Well done. Of course, having a wand served you well. Still, I believe congratulations are in order. Not too bad for a mortal. Now, say what you have <coughs> to say, you old Jack here. Hmm? You've earned it. Nicely done. But, what's going on? You're not a member of the Headless Hunt. No, I'm not. Sir Nicholas said you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. I pinched them from Peeves. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. 
The pages are likely still mouldering away with my, uh, uh, remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head, and I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes. <sighs> You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go? I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first. But Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge. Okay, well, we did that, my boys. If the headsman could only see me now. So we're gonna be basically, episode 3 is gonna keep on going until basically Professor Fig comes back. So, yeah. money do I have actually? Six hundred fifteen. Hmm. Hey, that's pretty good. Okay, let me check the map. Hogs need. Uh, brooms. I need a broom, I think. Mm, since I need to get around faster, you know. Best way I can do that is if I go to Hogwarts. Go there. Got 625,000. Trey Young is afraid of birds. Fact. Mo Bamba had a feature in Check West's song, but it was never released. <laughs> well. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of cross ones ready? Look who's back. Ready to redeem yourself? Hopefully. I certainly am. I'm not really, I'm not, I'm not wanting to win really, but I'll try my best. Yes, Sebastian. Sebastian. Then let's get started. So I need to dodge at least nine times here. So. We can make this a real victory. Yeah, let's just skip this. Skip this, huh? Champion. Time for a champion, my boy. I'll show you what a real champion is. Oh my god. No! Again? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. I dodged at least two times. Yes, yes.
No. Okay. I'm gonna try a few times. I'm gonna always try five more times. Care to try again? Yes, For sure. I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. I was supposed to win that time, honestly. Guys. No, I was able to drink one of them, but not, I, was, I was not able to drink any of the rest Can't of them. Try again? I was close to one. No, I was close. I, I was close. So. Not right now. Understandable, but don't take too long. We'll be waiting. In the yes. check. Close update. Track it. Okay, 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 go, go, go. What is this? <coughs> so, there's gonna be another defense class. In the at day at daybreak, I will be attending, but I'm going to sleep dead in class. Don't ask me why. I just need to. <coughs> if only a new student were to help me with. I hope you were able to take care of everything I had asked. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. The spell. To the sun, so. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. It is a disarming spell. So let me put it there. Expelliarmus. So you seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life. Incendio. Let me know. Try this. It's a
Alright, guys. This is gonna probably take another episode. Five of them to appear free of episode three. Bruh. <laughs> my my controller is vibrating by hearing that. <laughs> Hey, yo, what? What is that? Up, oh, that got rid of it, I guess. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. Kill them. I don't know if I don't know. Now where's jo Jack Doll? Here I am, as good as my word. Hello there. We meet again, Richard Jack Doll. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Just like a Gryffindor to brave the forbidden forest in pursuit of adventure. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a bird bath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Aside from the bird bath, Anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Hmm. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Nothing to do now but keep going. I don't like being here at all. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. I don't like being here at all. It gave him this the only one other game ever gave me this type of nerve. If I'm being honest. And that was Batman Arkham. Something oddly solemn. Arkham about this City. Place. No, 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 no. Batman Such Arkham. Such creatures, stacks. The reason why is the um. There it is. Just the uh, Arkham Knight part where he's in a tank and you were in the tank. Yeah, it was the movie. The um, mirrors. The unreal. The like bad, of bad feeling. And this is giving me the same exact feeling. Just a little bit though. You have a now of like shaking and stuff. Oh, I know it! Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But, uh, when do you take a give up? Send you. Uh, uh, yes. Come on, Phil, folks. I've grown! You shall know pain. Okay, time to bottle up, mobile. Oh, 
Daddy hey, got him. Okay. I'll post. I told you I never really like goblins. It was giving me like this shiver type of thing. Cause they always had longer arms than their hands. Their hands were always longer. Their arms were always longer than their legs or something. But uh, this place I guess is. have smaller legs and smaller hands. I guess it's a bit better. They lit for long. Skinny bridge. I'm kidding. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not that. Someone thing. didn't want casual visitors down here. I wonder if oh. any of my spells can help me through this. It's Probably that. I knew it, bro. Just give me the nerve at spider for going over here. I know it. Come here. All right, now one of you died, real quick. Uh huh. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm He's unnerving, isn't it? Oh, I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. I don't like. I don't know. I don't like y'all. Let's go. I'm gonna pick as much as I can. I know if you don't like spiders. I don't like going here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, throw back spider. Let's do it. Come here! Get over here! Bring me here! I told you! I told you! I knew it! I knew I should have never came here! No, no, please. I know I should have not came here. No, blocking, dodging, 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 weave, dodging, weave, dodging, dodging. Hmm, 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 see, hmm, hmm. No, no. Die. Okay, I think I'm done. Oh my god, that's a nerve. I knew I should have never came. I literally knew it. It's like, okay. Okay. If enemies, this is probably your nest or something. I don't like being here at all. Go, 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 move, 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 move. I don't like being here. Yeah. Hold on. Hopefully I can get to defensive. More. 
That looks, I look like a nerd. And that's level 10. And it's been, and it, pro and it probably looks good too. <coughs> what level am I? Nine, I'm about to level up good. Cause I wanna be stylish, my boy. Very eilish. Watch all my everything about that. Diamonds. <laughs> oh, collect. Collect those. Gotta become rich up in here, my boy. Anywho, did I did fight some fighters right now? I fought something. <laughs> no, no. Come here. A little more behind me. Come here. Yes. Right. That went awfully good. What is that? I really don't like this place, and I'm go and I'm go and I'm still curious. Okay. I wonder if I can move that platform somehow. Oh god. Okay, I can definitely move it. I already said I don't like y'all. Not a headless skeleton in sight. But I may as well help myself to this. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me. Where could he be? I hear that. Okay, my time's starting to run low, so I will be ending it up off here. So, yeah. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed next episode. Next part of this episode will be basically ho me uh, me hoping that I can finish in time. Because I don't want to make enough of a part 4 of episode 3. Just for freaking Professor Fig to come back. So yeah. Hopefully he's not that. He's not, he won't be that. Hopefully he won't be going to get that milk that, that much. Alright. So. I'll see y'all see in the next video. I really did not like that song, and yeah, goodbye. <laughs>